Happy Easter, everybody. Forecast for tonight. Beer, low standards, poor decision, and more beer. How you doing, everybody? I'm going to try this for the tenth time. It's video number four. And this is uh, for SJ's challenge. Um, what is beautiful to me. And she called me out on it. And uh, I guess I'm going to have to uh, give it a shot. This is the worst one because it's taken 10 times to make this video. I don't have any editing software, so yeah, some of the other stuff you wouldn't want to see because I got mad. <laughs> but anyway, she called me out and just listen to what she has to say and then we'll go from there and uh, as far as uh, what's beautiful to me. And then I'll put it in my playlist. I'll add it to the list. I got a list of right now two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen people that did the challenge. Fifteen. Oh, these didn't do it. Oh, these you can do it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Jessica, how are you? Did you get your points? Oh, I said not yesterday. You must have them today. Come on. Me, me, me. Do your chat. Do your what's beautiful. And you have to put my name in the title. SJ's What's Beautiful Challenge. So if you go into my playlist, you can see what it's all about. The SJ's What's Beautiful Challenge. And you can, you basically, you do a video and you let me know what you think is beautiful. It could be your mom, it could be a flower, it could be something special to you. And then you send me the link and I put you, I put you in, um, I put Well, there you are. There you go. You heard it. So she challenged me to do a beautiful thing, and um, I pretty much got this in the bag. Uh, what's beautiful to me is my dog, and her name just happens to be Beauty. So what's beautiful to me is her name, and uh, how, uh, how I uh, uh, picked her up one day and uh, took her into my household. Um, my uh, brother and his wife, as well as me, because I live on the property, uh, we uh, take care of uh, foster animals from SPCA to our county. And we uh, take care of them, kind of bring them up a little bit, raise them, and, uh, and then we find homes for them. Of course, you know, the... Uh, Beauty just happens to be uh, my dog that showed up on the property one day. Somehow, uh, either was dropped off or what have you, and walked down our driveway, and we ended up uh, putting her in the system. I couldn't find anybody that actually owned the dog. No tags, no nothing, except for a spike collar which i don't understand that but um i turned around and i ended up deciding to uh keep her which happens a lot you know you get you know uh, what do you call it uh you fall in love with the animals that you take care of and um this so happens uh yeah we both needed companionship i guess She's been with me for about seven years now, give or take, yeah, more more like seven or eight. And uh, she's been a great dog, very smart. Her breed is a Catahoula Leopard Dog, and they range in all different t uh, sizes and colors and uh, tricolors, what they are, and uh, sometimes spot, spots and all that. And they were raised to, they were uh, bred to be raised um, as herd dogs. They uh, herd pigs or boars, sheep, etc. They also can climb trees and leap a building in a single bound. 
guarantee they can they can leak pretty high. <laughs> yeah, you four pets, forget it. You need to go twelve. But um, my dog's never 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 tried to leave. You know, she's gotten off the leash multiple times. You know, on the runner and stuff, and she'll walk in and say, uh, "Hey." Uh, could you put that leash back on me? Because uh, I don't want to get in trouble. Of course, she'll show up on the other side of the garage and and be waiting at the door for somebody to let her in. So, beautiful dog. And like I said, her name is Beauty. So, let's get on with the show. And I, I kind of threw some music on it. And hopefully it doesn't get, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, monetized. But I really don't care. But as long as they don't take the video down. And um, we'll start out with some music and uh, a little bit too loud. Sounds good. Okay. And I'll show you what she looks like. This is her famous position. As you can see, uh, she's just like any normal dog. <laughs> she kind of runs the place. Some old pictures that I got off the camera along with that video number three. And uh, this way she lays, lays around, just mops her body everywhere. And, uh, anyways, this is just beautiful to me, uh, Esther. She's my uh, life companion to you know, as long as she can. So, uh, I have videos of her and all, but they're on DVDs. And, uh, my computer don't work too well on DVDs. I should have left it on the car or something, but I've got some nice videos of her uh, galloping around and stuff. Of course, she's got friends. These are the other foster dogs that we've had in the past. Very, very good dogs out of the house. Except for one right now. Yeah. That's her. That was one Christmas time. Stockings, pretty animals, you know, and toys. My, my Christmas arrangement. That's my brother Chuck. He's the youngest of the family. And yeah, we play a lot of stuff. And I've been playing play words with friends. And yeah, that's one of the Christmas toys she shredded and got out of the bag. The handball was. She owns the couch. I have to beg permission to use it. It's pretty cool. I was able to pull these out. Okay, I'm on them. Now oh, it's perfect time. Another one that we uh, fostered. He wasn't with us long. He was a puppy. So we got a lot of puppy. Always laying down and around somewhere. Hanging off here and there. That's the newest one we have. Chihuahua. More like a chupacabra. I'm pretty sure they look the same. But uh, yeah, there's Chihuahua. I'm taking care of right now. I'm trying to find somebody. And the end. Perfect timing. So, anyways. That is what is beautiful to me. And I just want to wish everybody happy, uh, Mer happy Easter and hell, April Fool's Day. But hey, number four. So let's see how well this uh, video worked out and see if I'm going to print this one. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy your dinner. <laughs>